Coach cannot help you get in if your grades aren't there. Yeah, I just said that. The next thing is do the best you can on your SAT or ACT. Has anybody taken one of these tests yet? Okay, a couple of you. Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> you had a good time doing it? Okay, we'll talk after. Again, again, if you need help with, uh, with this, seek it out. There's a lot of free resources that are available on SAT or ACT prep. Write this one down. I'm going to give you two websites that can help you out. The first one is collegeboard.com, and the second one is number2.com, N-U-M-B-E-R, the number2.com. Both of those websites have test prep materials and some sample tests that you can you can look at, as well as uh, a signing up for the question of the day. Uh, and, and I highly recommend that. And, and, uh, and the other um, simple resource that you can look at is going down to Barnes & Noble and getting a prep book. And if you were to review the prep book plus getting the questions of the day, and, and you do that over the next year, how much time would you have banked in, in studying? Quite a bit. Do you think your scores would be better? Yeah, of course. And then, and then again, depending on your budget and all that, they've got DVD learning tools as well as private, uh, private coaching and, and, and that for the SAT or the ACT. So how many, how many of you want to go to a popular school? Okay, what schools do you think of? Or your dream school? UCLA. UCLA, okay. Anybody else? Only one person here is going to college. <laughs> is that correct? Okay. Do you know what the statistics are for getting into UCLA? <laughs> do you know what GPA that they want? Do you, want? do you know what test scores that they want? These are all things that you should research and position yourself as a student so you can so you can be the best student and have the best opportunities to get in there. Okay. Uh, now some of you are are very very talented athletes. I've seen I've seen a lot of you guys play, and um, some of you may may want to play on a Division One team or a Division Two team, and that. Have, have you guys looked into that, seen what the difference is between the Division I and two and three and all of that? These are some things that you need to research. And I, I'll tell you about another, another student of mine. She, she's a really talented athlete, and she got onto a Division I team, and she called up her mom crying on the phone because she's got mostly bench time. And, and as an athlete, I'm sure that you'd rather have game time than bench time. So you may want to think about looking at a Division II or a Division III team. Uh, my point is just keep your options open on that. So where do we start? Be the best that you can be. Uh, keep your grades up as high as possible and practice your sport. And practice your sport more than just on the field and at practice time. What if you were to spend 15 minutes every day with the, doing some extra ball skills at home and, and you did that over the next year. How much time would you have banked uh, doing your ball skills in that? A lot, right? Same thing goes with, with your grades. If you were to spend an extra 15 minutes every day for the next year, how much time would you have, would you have banked uh, with your academics? And don't you think that your grades would be better on that? Okay. Show up for practice on time. Be attentive, attentive, and uh, train your hardest. All of these things will help improve your skills. And that. Uh, now, has anybody seen the movie Rudy? Yeah. One of my favorite movies. And that. Uh, and the story of Rudy is that he really, he really isn't that great of an athlete. But he ends up getting on the team by sheer determination, by, by just being the absolute best he can and by showing that he has the absolute best attitude in that. And that's what ends up getting him on the team.